Hey friends and welcome to Disney Movie Facts. This month we'll be looking at Lilo and Stitch with some facts you may not know. Each month we'll be looking at different movie following our Disney podcast. So make sure you click that subscribe button and you can also join our membership or even give us a super thanks. We would greatly appreciate it. With all that out of the way, let's get to it. Let's kick off with some money talks, as the post-Renaissance had some flops, even though some movies were amazing. Lilo and Stitch cost almost $80 million, but then went on to reach an estimated $273 million worldwide, and now, over 20 years on, Stitch's popularity is stronger than ever. So there was a one-man band with Lilo and Stitch. The multi-talented Chris Sanders wrote the script for Lilo and Stitch, directed the production, and even lent his voice to the character in the film. Fair play to him. Initially, the writers wanted the film to take place in rural Kansas, where Stitch would be isolated from wreaking havoc on things around him. Later, the setting was changed to Hawaii's Kauai Island. The very first pitch was about an alien in a forest somewhere. All his interactions was these woodland creatures who wanted nothing to do with him, screenwriter Dean Diblos told IGN. Dean DeBlois also said that a tour guide explained the idea of Ohana to the research team after a trip to Kuau Island. He said, and I quote, It was always going to be about family and this destructive force coming into a frail, crumbling family and just accelerating its destruction, but then being affected enough by the idea of a family that he could transform in the end. But it wasn't until we went to Hawaii that we were exposed to the idea of Ohana and that's something that Hawaiian people carry around with them. It's alive and present and it's this all embodying philosophy that if you live several islands away, you're as much my brother and sister as my immediate brother and sister." End quote. Now I actually love that. Great to include the culture after their visit. But that's not all for the cultural inclusion for this movie. The voice actors for Nani and David, Tia Carrier and Jason Scott Lee helped rewrite the Hawaiian characters' dialogue to include Hawaiian colloquialisms and slang. Carrie is a native Hawaiian and Lee was raised in the state. We're about halfway through our video, but just wanted to remind you that we do Disney Plus videos every week, as well as different Disney-inspired videos on Saturdays, which include podcasts, movie facts, news, and Disney Park tips. We also vlog our Disney adventures, giving you lots of advice along the way. So make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell. Why not join our membership where you will watch our videos before anyone else, get some additional content, badges, and special emotes. Or you can support us by clicking the super thanks button. We greatly appreciate any and all support from you, but let's get back to the video. This movie came out after the tragic events of 9-11. One of the scenes needed to be drastically changed. The scene with Stitch and Jumba flying a spaceship through Guo to escape the capture was completely redone after the 9-11 attacks. Originally the scene shows the duo in a Boeing plane flying through the city center. According to Stitch's dog license at the shelter, Lilo and Nani's last name is Pelikai. Their last name is dedicated to Peli, the goddess of fire and volcanoes in Hawaii, and Kai, which means seawater in Hawaiian. That's quite cute. There are so many hidden Mickeys in Lilo and Stitch. Some YouTubers have gone through and found as many as 30 in the movie. How many have you seen whilst watching the movie? Let us know in the comments. Lilo and Stitch was actually nominated for an Oscar, however they lost the Academy Award to Spirited Away for Best Animated Film, which must have been a little disappointing for Disney as Disney actually helped finance Spirited Away. Finally, there are a few cameos in the movies, including the directors, as well as a Mulan poster and a Dumbo stuffed toy. Did you see any more? Well, you know what to do. But that is it for these little facts about Lilo and Stitch. Let us know in the comments if you know any more that people might not know. Don't forget to check out our decast for more facts and opinions on the movies. And make sure to hit that subscribe button for much more Disney content. But until next time.